Hey guys, Eric Hoven here in the incredibly beautiful Colorado, just outside of Grand, or excuse me, Canyon City, Colorado, on Skyline Drive, where I'm checking out the dinosaur footprints that uh, have been were laid down here. Uh, these are actually the casts of the footprints or the remains of them. They're called a trace fossil, and what we see up here is actual footprints from where dinosaurs walked. Of course, the sign here tells us that uh, they were laid down some 107 million years ago. I'm thinking no. And they say that these footprints were formed when this area of rock right here was near a lake or a stream or something like that. There was obviously water involved and then it filled them in and later became stone. If it were during the time of the flood, I could understand that because you got catastrophic events taking place. But just next to a lake, we don't see that happening today. Had to be something catastrophic going on. I'd go with the flood. You know, it's amazing to me that two people can look at the exact same thing and come to totally opposite conclusions. For example, the rock strata right behind me, it's at a significant angle. I mean, probably about a 45 degree or greater angle. It's really impressive. And this whole hillside here on Skyline Drive, just outside of Canyon City, Colorado, is like that. Now, some people would say, oh, those rock layers were actually lifted up as the plates, uh, the tectonic plate activity was taking place, and it, it shoved those rock layers upward into the position that they're in right now. Um, what makes a whole lot more sense to me is that that happened during a worldwide flood when there was catastrophic events taking place. Two people looking at the exact same thing, but coming to different conclusions about what they see.